Hello lovely viewers, welcome back to my channel. Well, if this is your first time here, I urge you to subscribe to my channel, my YouTube tutorials. Well, today I'll be taking you through a topic in commerce, and that is statistic one. I am your regular tutor, and I go by the name Mr. Derek Ayamble. I promise to make this lesson as short as possible since it's mass. You don't need to remember, uh, keep in mind tons and tons of information or definitions. All that you need to do is to remember the formulas. That is the most important thing. So, what comes to mind when you hear the word statistic? Well, statistic can be defined as the collection of raw data arrangement of the data, its presentation and interpretation, which is aimed at making relevant decisions. For example, to enable a health institution take decision about cholera outbreak in a particular community, data has to be collected, arranged and analyzed for interpretation of the data for the health institution to know the number of cholera cases the category of affected persons and how serious the cases are. Now this will help in planning and action taking. Let's look at something or a word that you will often hear when you are doing statistic and that is data. So what is data? Data is the collection of facts or information that has not yet been processed. Often, data and information are used interchangeably. Well, that is not bad because another man's information could be another person's data. So what does this mean? Let's say you are a biology student and you've been asked by your teacher to go to the field and gather information or to gather data on the different species of trees in a garden. Now, if you go to the garden, the data that you have acquired from the garden, whatever that, that will be your information. You are presenting that information to the lecturer or the teacher. Now, after doing that, whatever the lecturer or the teacher use that data for, he is using it as his data. Whilst to you, it is an information. So example could be the different age group of persons who have contracted COVID-19. So let's move on and look at frequency. Frequency simply is the number of ti times an item occurs. Now what does this mean? Let's say you are a student, yes, and you said that I have learned statistics, so I want to take it more practical. Maybe you sell by the roadside on weekends, so you decide, okay, today I am going to gather data on the color code of cars that are passing by. Now, when you gather your data, at the end of the day, you have realized that some color code or some cars have um, similar colors. Maybe red has occurred on different colors, or maybe black has occurred on different cards. Now, how many times the color red has occurred is now your, your frequency. How many times is the red occurring? That is your frequency. That is what we are talking about. I hope you understand. Let us take an example. So the question says, Below are marks obtained by students in an assignment which was marked over 5. Draw a frequency distribution table for the marks. Now the numbers given are here 3, 4, 5, 5, 2, 3, 3, and 3. Now how are we going to process this? Now mostly when we are doing with frequency, the question will demand you ask from this question. It will demand you to find or 
to draw a frequency distribution table. So what that means is you are going to represent that data on a table. Now, mostly when the items given to you or the numbers given to you are many, less than 30 mostly, you can decide to use the tally system. So in the tally system, um, the tally system is just a way of obtaining accurate frequency because the numbers maybe the three has occurred maybe six times and you can't go about counting it one two three no but with the tally system you cross maybe from here and then you represent it on the table but in this video since the numbers are not large i'm not going to use the tally system so how are we going to solve this now so they said from the above data the frequency of the above numbers can be represented on the table. So let, let me bring our numbers. Three. These are the numbers as we saw earlier. And this is our frequency table. Now, in doing this, since the numbers are not large, I'm not going to use the tally system. Because if if I look at two on the among the numbers over here, I can realize that its frequency is just one. So I don't need to use the tally system. So that is how we are going to solve it. So two, how many times has it okay? One, three, how many times has it okay? One, two, three, four, four, how many times has it okay? One and five, how many times has it okay? Two times. Now another thing, or another question that uh, you can also be asked from this table here is to find the modal mark or the mode. Now, the mode is the number that has the highest occurrence or the number that has the highest frequency. So, from this table, which number is having the highest frequency? Now, remember, this is the frequency and these are the numbers. And we say the number that has the highest frequency. So, because of that, if you look at the frequency, we are going to match it with the mark now so which number here is having the highest frequency and that is our three so from this question from this table the modal mark is three thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video